So good today morning. we're going. Good morning, and today <laughs> we're going to Chichen Itza. Thank you. I that was. Mean, uh, look at me. I'm so excited. I'm Mr. Meeseeks. Look at me. Always. <laughs> okay. 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 Stop. What time is it? 7.30 and as he just told us we're going on a tour to Chichen Itza and it's yeah you did the intro <laughs> All right, before we move on with the vlog, let's talk a little bit about the price of the tour and what is included. At the time when we were booking the tour, we actually booked a different tour with the Copa Pyramid, which you can still climb on. But unfortunately, the tour did not get enough people, so we had a choice, either to get a refund or choose a different tour, where instead of the Copa Pyramid, we would go to a colonial town called Valladolid. At the time of the booking, we paid $138 for two people, excluding the pyramid tax. So on top of the tour, you have to pay tax when you go to a pyramid site which costed around $31 per person so overall $200 for this tour yeah it is quite pricey but there are quite a few things that are included so you get an option of pickup either from Cancun, Playa del Carmen I think Tulum is also an option bilingual guide which speaks Spanish and English we get a buffet lunch and a visit to three main places which are Chichen Itza which is the world wonder the second one is Cenote and the third one happened to be the colonial town by Adelie, which we were also kind of pumped about. Also, if you pick an option of beverages, which could be beer and tequila. Do you think all of this is worth the price that we paid? Let me know in the comments and let's actually see if it was worth it. So, the guy told me to stand in this queue and to register. All the people going to the pyramids, they have to register and pay taxes. Gracias. This is the number of our bus. We've got a two hour ride, maybe two and a half. Just gonna rest and sleep. We got our pillows with us. We've got our breakfast here. Show me what it is. Las Vegas instead. Yeah. Is that okay? See? Yeah. Oh, no. And so our journey began. Our guide taught us how to pronounce the word Chichen Itza. Chichen Itza. Taught us some words in Mayan dialect, which we really struggled to pronounce. Malo. Also told us one mind-blowing fact about Mexico. It's actually pronounced Mexico, coming from the Mexica people that founded Mexico. Mexli Xictlico. Mexico means the belly bottom of the moon. Oh, you are traveling around the belly bottom of the moon. Our guide also told us some interesting facts about Mayan history and about the Mayan calendar, which looks confusing but very pretty. Ah. Then drove past a little Mayan village and saw their simple way of living in their small houses and little gardens. Then we drove past their cemetery where Mayan people keep the remains of deceased ones in boxes due to lack of space to bury them. We just arrived at this place. There's like a Mayan <laughs> village nearby. And so from the tourism, that's how they earn money. <laughs> And right there, you can actually make your own pedant with your name in Mayan language. How cool is that? So according to Mayan alphabet, my name characterizes me as N, free or liberal, I, loving, N, again, free and liberal, and A, knowing how to give advices. We didn't get it this time, but it looks so, so cool. And the sun is very bright, that's why my eyes are half closed. And it's also very cool because these kind of things help Mayans preserve their traditions because that's how they sustain their village, that's how they sustain their schools, their hospitals, their culture. Even our guide, his children and his grandchildren, they all know Mayan language. That's so cool. He's gonna make a little ceremony. This is to take the bad uh, energies away, to clean up your aura, that you have lots of prosperity, that you have harmony, that you have love and lots of health. And now we're gonna have some lunch. I am actually super hungry. Oh my god, and it smells really good. Arroz. Yummy. So we have come to our next and the most well known destination here in Yucatan. And as you can 
until by all the buses it is super touristy bracelet includes water for both of us <laughs> all right also the entrance to the site and lunch with two drinks so to the pyramid side you're not allowed to take a professional camera you're not allowed to take professional cameras any drinks other than water and like powerade like electrolyte yeah basically to be here drink yourself but like not coca-cola not sprite no alcohol you're not allowed to smoke the biggest thing you're not allowed to walk up the pyramid because otherwise you're gonna go to mexican jail and i don't think you want to experience that and three thousand dollar fine yeah and a three thousand dollar fine but i think that's like the lightest thing <laughs> And we just picked the Spanish speaking guy. He's fun and also because I want to practice Spanish. It's going to be a bit of a challenge as well because it's about history. Ah, oh my god, guys, it is crazy. It is really something. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Maya hacía la imitación del sonido del jaguar. El jaguar era uno de los dioses mayas. Wow. <laughs> Pyramid was built in the name of God Kukul Khan, the feathered serpent god, who was also known as the creator and god of rain and wind. Chichen Itza is one of the most popular places in Mexico and the whole world, as it is considered one of the seven world wonders. The pyramid was built in a way for Mayans to be able to read the seasons, so it is some sort of an ancient calendar. You can actually see the entrance is a bit crooked, it's not right in the center. And over there is the face of the god of rain. So as you walk around and the sun hits, you can actually see the snake. And there is the head of the snake. Each of these steps represent a day in a year. And so as you go up, you walk up a full year right to the top. It is so incredible how Mayans were so precise with the calendar, with creating the system to read the times of the year, to read the seasons, and it's, it's just so incredible. This pyramid is almost 1,000 years old, and there are two more pyramids inside of this pyramid. The second one inside of this pyramid is 1,500 years, and the one at the very core is 1,900 years or something like that is incredible and since then they learned how to read the seasons of the year and the other side is reconstructed and this one is actually the original one as you can tell the steps are not as new and renovated they're old and kind of broken up and unfortunately a lot of the material from this pyramid was used to build other structures outside by the conquistadores Ooh. Ooh. So that's how they show the prices back then. So cool. <laughs> You can actually see the colors that used to be there. So there's red, there's a little bit of blue. So those are the original colors of this structure. Also here they built a field to play an ancient mind game called Pok Tapok. And these spaces over here and on the pyramid were used to amplify the voice of the governor. Woo! So this is the field of the game that Mayans used to play, which is sort of like football, but you don't score with your foot or hands, you score with your hip. Can you imagine trying to score into that little hole up there? The game used to last the whole day until the night, until they could not light the place up anymore. And the craziest thing is that the person who scores gets sacrificed. Because back then they believed that the soul of a sacrificed person goes up to the god of sun, and that's an honor. I mean, I don't think I would want to play this game. Although some resources state that neither of the teams were being sacrificed. So I guess this fact is buried with history. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to reconnect with my past, with my ancestors. So we have to do a ceremony. Okay. The crown, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> We've got beer. So this bracelet got us 
and beer. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. Gracias. Gracias. Oh. I need some. It's like a medicine. medicine. No, 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 no. Like sambuca. So you can buy this bottle as a souvenir if you want to. One of these bottles costs $400 or $20. We've got another bracelet and now going inside a cenote. And we've got two life jackets which cost 50 pesos each. It's a must have when you go to a cenote because it's a precaution. So yes, 100 pesos. We arrived at the cenote called Samal and our entry fee was included in the tour. But if you choose to come here by yourself, you pay 150 pesos and you get entry, life jacket and lockers included. Oh, So before you go into Sunoti, you have to take a shower right here and go over there. As it is prohibited to take your bags downstairs, we decided to take the risk and leave them up here. Thankfully, it was nothing important, but I wouldn't suggest that. It's better to rent a locker. And you walk downstairs over there and from this platform, people just jump off. <laughs> And again, find Ranji. And he's right there. What is he doing? This was our first time coming to an open cenote. Last time we went to Tulum to see Dos Ojos, which is a closed one. So this one truly took our breath away. But unfortunately, we didn't see the most beautiful sight when the sun is right above the sinkhole. Because we came with the tour, we had only one hour to enjoy the cenote. So if you do plan on coming here, definitely come earlier. And we're done with cenotes. Honestly, that saying, was amazing. It was so it. good. And that was not enough time to enjoy it. Yeah. I wish we stayed there for longer. And I wish that we came there a bit earlier because there was not much sun in there but it was so so good and here comes the option of tequila i don't think i can do this right now i'm just so tired already and we arrived to our third destination to a little town called valladolid it's very small very beautiful guys i'm gonna show you something super romantic you see these seats they're not shaped like this by chance sanji come here these are the perfect seats do you have a kiss? Yeah, I like this. It's actually very comfortable, yeah. <laughs> Something on their head. Wow. Here come blessings of the god of rain. Wow, I did not expect this church to be so grand and beautiful. Oh my gosh, churros! I have been craving them! So they make a bowl inside and put the sauce. Oh my wow. So Ranji got with Nutella and I got with caramel. Mm. Oh my god. Wow. wow. Let's try with caramel. Mm. Let me try. Mm. Wow, so good. I love Trudeau so much. And here our tour day comes to an end. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment below. And uh, all good. <laughs> <laughs> and see you next time, guys. Bye. <laughs>